My name is Brian Hill, and I run the Complete Combatant and Fusion Fitness and Mixed Martial Arts. Um, my whole life has been geared towards self-defense. I am probably the only trainer that has spent his whole life in the private sector uh, teaching. I did the math, and I have somewhere about 100,000 hours of teaching experience on the, on the mat and at the range now. We teach people all aspects of self-defense, from the first signs of danger, how to use uh, non-lethal weapons and their body for self-defense, and OC pepper, and how to interact with somebody, how to use a firearm, how to follow up. Uh, so we try to be a full-spectrum uh, company that allows people to really understand the, all the ramifications of self-defense. Uh, just talk a second about how the complete combatant, everything that, that you guys do as a company kind of, can you sum it up? Is it easy to sum up? Is like, this is why we're here. This is why mm -hmm. we do this. I mean, it, you know, there's a, you have a lot going on. So I don't yeah. know how easy it is to sum that up. Yeah. You know, doing this my whole life, I was like, how can I give 40 years of experience to somebody in a very small one day class, three hour class, a weekend class. And that's what we've done is distilled what is essential. What is entirely essential? Uh, I know as martial arts teachers, oftentimes we fail. We teach a great spectrum of technical uh, skills. Same thing in the firearms community. But really, we only need certain things. We need to be able to see danger. We need to be able to, to address danger verbally and use our agility. We need to be able to create space and distance. We need to be able to draw a firearm and get a first round hit. Uh, we need to be able to call 911. We need to be able to interact with the police. We need to know what the laws are. Uh, and that's, we've distilled it down to the most essential things so that you could train and then you could get a feeling where you're weak and where you're strong and what you need to work on. And it's an auditing process for a person to say, hey, this is a great way to, to, to interact. And since I have different ways to do it, you can come in from different areas. You know, I get people that don't want to carry a firearm, but then they learn about what firearm ownership really means. And then they're more interested. You know, I get people that are just purely skill shooters. You know, they have a great skill set, they compete, but then they learn self-defense. So. It's a, it's, it's a revolving door of opportunities for people to come into the environment and, and learn and, and see great trainers that are doing things that are progressive. How much training do I need to just survive? Yeah. Is it two different things? I mean, do I, I mean, yeah. I mean, it is very different things. You know, when I'm training a martial artist, I'm training somebody who wants to be an expert. For self-defense, if we look at Claude's research, you know, the first rule is having a firearm. The next rule is being able to shoot the firearm and manipulate it without negative consequences. Uh, those are pretty low standards. The, we, you know, his research shows that the caliber doesn't matter. Uh, and really, if we look at what armed self-defense is, we know it's about a 10-second window. And if you make a couple of right decisions quickly, you can interfere with the whole process. So that doesn't take a tremendous amount of training, but it does take some accountability. I think that's what we're really training people is how to be accountable in this situation. What is your responsibility as, a, as your own first responder? And that doesn't take a lot of experience. I don't think it's like martial arts at all. The reason to defend yourself, the reason to fight is for love. Uh, you should love your family, you should love your life. And we're not doing it because we're afraid. We're doing it because we have the right to exist and to go about our lives without anybody interfering with that that causes us great bodily injury or harm or death in our situation. And it's for love. Uh, you know, we fight because we love our life. We love where we're at and nobody has the right to take that from us. So that's what this is about. It's not about fear. It's about an empowering emotion of uh, self-awareness and also the possession of the ability to defend yourself.